Wholeness everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashida Silvertree and um, I wanted to make a video um, connected to the uh, Cycles and Se Seasons series. And I just wanted to touch on this a bit briefly. So we have the uh, very popular, um, I guess, I don't want to say phenomena or what have you um, because it's very much you know according to mainstream science and media and environmental groups all over the world um, all over the globe we have this thing with climate change um, I before I get into it disclaimer I'm not going to strongly oppose like I'm anti or pro or whatever, okay? The narrative is the narrative. And, but I I just wanted to shed a little bit of insight on this whole thing of climate change, okay? Now, I grew up in the 90s. I was born in the late 80s, grew up in the 90s. Um, and, you know, when it came to environmental shifts of the planet, okay? When it came to, like, you know, I, I remember... In one of my very uh, early um, years in, you know, primary school, <laughs> there was this obsession about, you know, climate change. The, the, the globe was getting colder. I don't know if you guys, you know, um, can remember that. Those of you guys who are in your 30s or 40s where they told, they, they talked about this theory that the planet was going to freeze and we we're gonna lose all this heat and we would just be this little frozen sphere, you know, floating into the abyss of space and, you know, we'd all freeze to death. But then that narrative and that, that storyline shifted tremendously into now we're going to just boil and broil to death in the lava of fire uh, and hailstorms and the like, um, and how our seas are, you know, the ice caps are melting and the seas are rising and, you know, there's not enough water. The water distribution on the, on the planet is shifted. There are places that are becoming uh, flooded where it should never flood and places that are becoming, you know, that there's drought, there's no rainfall in places that should have water and rainfall. And all this is this huge upheaval. And I can't remember the Scandinavian chick. She, she, she made some, I don't know. She gives off very odd, weird vibes to be honest, but she started out, I think she was 13, 14 years old as a teenager, Greta Thunberg or something like that. Yeah. And she just had this very odd vibe and look to her. I'm not, and it's not, I'm not picking apart her features or anything. It's just the, the, some human beings have a certain otherworldly, uh, essence about them. Anywho, my whole spiel and, and insight with this and how this ties into cycles and seasons. You must understand just like a tree, all right, just like a tree that grows from a sapling, you know, to an adult, beautiful, beautiful green tree, the tree goes through cycles and seasons. It goes through the worst of the storms. It goes through the most beautiful of summers, rainfall, winter, fires, Okay, yes, yeah, so trees can survive fires. They can survive a lot. They take on a lot. They take on a lot of uh, uh, diseases of trees and termites and all kinds of things. And yet they still stand. And then eventually they have a death, right? Where they fall. Timber! They fall over and they become... They return back to the earth. They become something else. They become the sheets of paper that we use... You know, they or the pencils or the lead that we use to, to write with our pencils. Um, you know, they become boxes, they become other things, they become campfire, you know, a wood uh, for the stove, if you will. I say all that to say, <laughs> when it comes to climate change, everything has its own life, death, life cycle, including the planet 
including the solar system, including the galaxy, including the universe. And our very limited perception of time, which is very linear, it's very yesterday, today, tomorrow, okay? We lack that cyclical understanding, overstanding, understanding of time, the, the space-time continuum, okay? There's this narrative of fear, okay? Now, when it comes to human nature, I always thought, one of the laws in, in of, of earth nature, the nature of living on this planet is survival, the survival of the fittest. And the key to survival is your ability to adapt. The ability to adapt how you interact and integrate with the reality around you. That's how our ancestors survived. They were able to move, they were nomadic. They ate and hunted as they went about until they learned the art of harvesting and farming and agriculture and staying stationary, even with staying stationary and build, building our tribes that turned into villages, that turned into towns, that turned into cities and mega cities, and then those cities turned into nations, even still. We learn to adapt. That is the key to survive on an ever-changing environment. Now, with this whole narrative and interpretation of, oh my gosh, with climate change, is the end of the world. It is the beginning of something new, just like with the, the rise of technocracy in the digital world. Our society is in a flux how men and women inter interact with each other, how human beings interact with each other is in a flux. How we interact with the digital world is in a flux. How we interact on a cultural, spiritual, financial way is all in a flux. A flux meaning we're just, we're, ha we're not grounded yet. We're, through, we're going through a humongous, tremendous amount of change. And with that, being said, when it comes to the climate of the world, you have to understand our own perception of how old the planet is can only fit in a limited perception of how old society is to us. Meaning, we think the beginning of the world was us. Human beings are the beginning of the world. And that is a big misconception, obviously, if you study some science, okay? This planet is old. It's older than old. It's older than the, the very definition of time. Imagine what this planet, okay? Imagine what this planet had to go through to look like how it is today. Even if we're poisoning her, okay, beyond repair, so we think, we think that the earth cannot repair herself. <laughs> we think the earth, that she cannot, mother nature cannot repair herself. Do you guys remember those nature documentaries of how, like how the earth came into form and before the, di the time before the dinosaurs, you know, all that hot lava fire and, and, and incredible just drastic temperature, global temp climate changes. We've been through climate change. Nothing's new under the sun. Nothing's new under the sun. Can you imagine? We've probably been through thousands upon thousands of different energy and climate <clears throat> shifts and changes for millennia. And it's just they're 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 treating this like it's brand new. That we've never had a frozen planet before. That we never had a multi a, a lava planet before. That we never had a massive global drought before, or a massive global flood before. It is just so. It's so very interesting how they're pushing this fear, fear, 
because there's limited resources. Mother Nature, the Mother Earth is ever replenishing. She can heal herself with or without us. So be careful when you're clicking or when you're, you're hearing those frequencies of be worried. Be worried that there's not going to be enough water, not going to be enough food, not going to be enough of this, and not going to be enough of that for the whole 8 billion of us. Open your limited perception of what you believe time is and open your limited perception of how you think and what you think age is. There is nothing to fear with climate change. Like this has never happened. Unprecedented, they say. And hold on, pause. I have to hit pause here. In no way am I saying that it's not happening. <laughs> In no way am I saying it's not happening at all. There are shifts and changes and sea levels and, and, you know, major droughts and fires and all this other stuff. It's almost like when a human being catches a cold, when a human being has a little cough or it's, you know, a human being is, is, uh, getting in shape or something, or, you know, we, our bodies are always in flux. Our bodies are always fighting for homeostasis. We're never at this perfect just space. That's the planet. And sometimes when there's a huge shift, it creates an imbalance. And it may feel like it's the end of the world for many. But be careful of the narrative of a climate change. There's been thousands of them before us. And there'll be thousands of them after, uh, after us. Like... You know, they're selling you these narratives to, to, to get, to feed you the frequency of fear. Ain't nothing new in nature. She's going to do what she's going to do, regardless if our, our, uh, 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 polluting the, the, the air and polluting her water, polluting her soil. That's just hurting us. It ain't really hurting her. We live on tectonic plates. We don't even understand, unless you're a, a, you study geography and you study crystals and rocks and minerals, you make a career out of that. Many human beings don't even under, can even fathom the power of, of, of a tectonic plate. The earth, she can <coughs> cough. That's a, what, a 5.7.11 11 scale earthquake that just completely obliterates a whole city. All she, <coughs> cough, that's it. We underestimate nature so much. We over exaggerate a lot of our problems that aren't really that big of a deal. But I digress. I just wanted to share that with you as a little reminder. Don't get tripped out on climate change. Don't get tripped out on it. Mm -mm. Don't do it. You're not, you're not. If anything, learn how to adapt. And even with at that, that doesn't, that doesn't guarantee survival. But be adaptable. Movement. You know, some of us love routine. Some of us think our jobs, like everything's guaranteed for us. Our jobs, our careers, our families, our home, everything's very grounded and sturdy and strong and foundational and just, you know, nothing to worry about. And you should never, ever worry about some things that haven't happened yet. That's not healthy. That can cause mental imbalance. That can cause too much anxiety raise your blood pressure for no reason but there's nothing wrong with with studying you know or just observing or reading about you know nomadic lifestyle how to adapt in certain 
climates, if you will, figuratively and literally. But there's nothing to fear with this. There's nothing to fear with this. Climate change is just, they're telling you, that's just their way to introduce the world into their, con, you know, put more of an emphasis on living in a digital world, in a technocratic society, where everyone's driving electric cars, everyone has, it's a cashless society, and everyone, you know, it's, it's digital. You don't carry a wallet anymore. You have a chip. You have, you have it in you, and you, know, you just slide your hand through. My only concern with this, at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself a question with all this climate change and this movement into a technocratic society, a global technocratic society, is who's going to have the ability to push the button in this new digital world, this new green planet? That's it. That's all my commentary. Because I bumped into this video and I'm like, oh my God. Like, you can't be afraid of change. Even as I say that, sometimes, yeah, it, it does. It's unnerving. It's uncomfortable. But I believe, if anything, society better get ready to get a little uncomfortable. Adaptability will help. That is for sure. If you're fixed in certain lifestyles and certain ways of being, you know, that's you. But to those of you that are like, you know, there's narratives and agendas for every little thing. And sometimes those agendas are for the people, for society, for evolution. And other times it's kind of working. We're working against ourselves. Usually people who, who, you know, induce a lot of certain narratives into mass society, to the, to the mass, to, to the world. It's, it's just people trying to control and have dominance and power over people. So we're basically just doing it to ourselves. Regardless, no matter how green the world becomes and environmentally friendly and non-GMO, and vegan and all this, you, you cannot stop the cycle and seasons of change on the, in this world. Whatever the earth, whatever cycle the earth is entering into, we either, it's a ride or die. <laughs> it's a ride, either you ride with it or, you know, you struggle. So, that's it. Peace.